to episode 33 of Lydia's Booktastic Podcast. In this episode, we are reviewing the Eerie on Sea series by Thomas Taylor. Woohoohoo! I think we got a scary book, Cooey. Have we got a series of scary books? What's it called? Eerie on Sea? Yeah. Okay, episode 33. What's this story? We have the uh, author, Thomas Taylor. He's kind of famous for writing these stuff. Three books you've been reading over the last few weeks, so you decided that you were going to dedicate episode 33 to the entire Eerie on Sea series. And basically, they're like legends of like beings Mm -hmm. in Eerie on Sea. So what's the first one in the series? Uh, The first one is... Malamander. Okay, can we have the blurb so we get the idea of what it's about? In the basement of the Grand Nautilus Hotel, a mysterious girl crashes into Herbie Lemon's room and cries, Hide me. In the window of the eerie book dispensary, a mechanical monkey sits and waits. And out beyond the pier, something stirs. Could the legendary Malamander have returned? Yeah. That sounds scary. Did I hear a mare monkey? Yeah. What the hell is a mare monkey? Uh, basically, a mare monkey is a monkey with mermaid but... slash monkey. Okay, yeah. this story has and gone to serious depths already. Basically, the Eerie on Sea book dispensary is, yeah, it's a bookshop. Mm-hmm. And there's like this mechanical mer monkey mm-hmm. that you put a coin into his top hat. Right. Well, his hat. And then he... Gives you like this ticket that shows you what book, not that you want, not that you uh, like maybe might, you might not know of it, right? but it's the book you need. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you read the first novel. It's fairly big, isn't it? Can I have a look at that? Oh, wow. We do have a lot of pages in it. Uh, It goes up to 275 pages. Now, there's no artwork or anything in this. It's just a straight read, isn't it? Well, every now and then there are. Okay, but this book, what, uh, 10 year old plus? I think, yeah, 10 plus. So is it scary? Mm, it depends well, on so how it's... old you are. You know, okay, so let's say you're 10. Is it spooky? A bit. A bit. Okay, so what was your first impressions of the first book, Ma- Malamander? What did you think of it? Um, I thought it was full of mystery and I liked like, how there were loads of twists. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. And the characters, were they good? Yeah. So who is your favourite character or characters in the book? My favourite characters are um, the two main characters who are Violet Parma Mm -hmm. and Herbert Lemon. Okay, they're cool names. And, oh, and I also like um, Miss Fossil Mm -hmm. or Mrs. Fossil. Yeah. And um, she's a beachcomber. Okay. Yeah. And... She has this little shop. Yeah. And inside there are like loads of little things that she found on the beach. All right. So she sells them. And is there any kind of mystic trinkets or spooky things that she sells? Uh, Well, I can't really say it because okay. like... Okay. You don't want to give the story away. Now, the characters that you just mentioned, are they in the other two books? Yeah. Okay. So what happens? The first book... Okay. Because we can't really give too much of the story away. But basically the two other books, which what's the next one after that called? Gargantus. And then the final one in the series? Shadow Glass. So we're not going to give the story away because obviously you have to read the first one to follow through on the second. Or do you? Yes. You do. Well, okay. like it kind of explains it. But right. Yeah. So you definitely you need prob- to read the book It's in order. recommended to start from the start. Gotcha. And go so to finish compared the to the first book, what was the second one like? Was it just as good? Was the story as rich? Yeah. And there's this like cat and his, his name is Erwin. Okay. And he's comes into the second book does he does he talk by any chance well it would probably give the story away so okay this is a reveal all right and then the last book which is called what shadow shadow gas shadow gas so what did you think of that one compared to the other two books i think it was um the best of all of them because right. there was like a really big twist yeah and is did you think there'd be more books of this series or is that the end of that um, story well mom says there's going to be Another one, and it says at, one. it says at the back right. of Shadowgast. It says, "Enjoyed Shadowgast. Turn the page to return to Eerie on Sea for Herbie and Violet's next adventure." 
Fester Grimm. Okay, cool. Right. So, and did but that... I haven't read that, and I don't think it's out it's yet. It's out yet. Gotcha. Mm. And come here. Is that like? Does that book end, or does it end on a kind of a cliffhanger? The third one. No, all of them basically end with the same amount of cliffhanger, right. not too much. Yeah. That you're like, oh, when's the next book? When's the next okay, book? Okay, I get you. Is yeah. there any other book series or book that you've read that you kind of compare it to? I actually think that Harry Potter, mm. it, Fantastic Beast, is a bit like it. Right. Because there's like loads of creatures in it. Okay, cool. So compared to, say, Harry Potter and what was the other one we did there recently? The, the Hatmakers. The Hatmakers. No, compared to that, was it good? Uh, they're all good. They're all good. Great. So you love all these authors. Yeah. Now, I asked you the question before with the previous books. How are we going to do with uh, cartoons, movies, TV shows? Oh, this would be kind of that good kind of horror series, but it's not yeah. too spooky. Right. Yeah. So kids could go to the cinema and see it with their moms and dads and guardians. Well, it'd and probably have to have it would probably have to have parental guidance. I see. Yeah. So movie or TV series? I think TV series would yeah. be better. So you'd have like, like every chapter is like around five pages. So. Right. So you could Two probably have pair of one episode. So you could probably have, say, maybe ten episodes in total that would cover the whole yeah. books. Yeah, great. And the final thing I wanted to ask you, uh, would you would I mean, would you say that these books are a copy of like other books, or is the story very original? Very original. Really? Yeah. And is there lots of girls and boys in it? Or uh, boys well, and girls? Well, which... yeah, there's actually a lot of girls and a lot of boys. And, uh-huh. Yeah. And what age are the kids in this? I think there's, yeah, I think it was around 10 and 11. Okay, think cool. It said, no, they're 12 year olds. Yeah, they're 12. Right. And when you were reading it, did you come across any big words or anything like that you didn't quite understand? Or was it fairly easy to read? Easy to read for me. Oh, yeah. So As no, in for me, because like. No big words that you came across and went, hmm, I don't know what that is. And the chapters you said, they weren't too short or weren't too long. Yeah. Uh, even if I did stumble across a word like that, mm. always have a dictionary handy. Good thinking that's exactly what you except should except it doing. hasn't it can't be too recent because like most of the, like these old-fashioned worlds that aren't used oh, anymore good. could be like mm, not in it interesting yeah. point there Lydia. that's a good one to know yeah so maybe a semi-old dictionary yeah, sometimes like good from around mm. year 2015 that's yeah, good that's good i get yeah. you i get you so down to the marks are we going to mark them individually i think we'll do that for the first time ever we'll mark the the books individually, and then we'll mark the the of the series overall. So the first one, what's the name of it? Malamander. Marks out of ten on that. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Why? Um, uh, because it's um thrilling. Yeah. And spooky. Great stuff. Second one was Gargantus. Marks out of ten for Gargantus. Nine out of ten again. Really? Because it kept you going just as good. Yeah, it was. It was really like loads of twists mm-hmm. and. You know, that kind of thing. It had you on yeah. your seat, had your seat yeah. reading it. Yeah, that Final kind of one. Shadowcast. Um, Marks out of 10. Okay, I read through this in like two days. Oh. Yeah, because I was just like, I need to read more. But the thing is, I, I started reading at 8 yeah. most of the time. And then I ended at like 11 o'clock, which oh. means like three hours of reading or something. So, yeah. Um, But still. So, you could say I, I read it in around six hours. Marks out of 10. No, no, ten again. Again, yeah, okay. Because it was like, yeah, I just have to keep on. Uh, again, there's like loads of thrills and twists. Mm-hmm. And finally, uh, for the overall series, which is the Eerie on Sea Mysteries by Thomas Taylor, what is the overall mark for that? Do you really have to think about that? Because I mean, you've given the rest of them nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Excellent. Why did you not get ten? Just I always have to ask that. Because. Because what? I just don't know. Okay. There's, be- there's nothing as good as Harry Potter. Okay, because Harry Potter got 10 out of 10, didn't it? Great. Well, well we well, didn't really rate that because we haven't done it. Mm-hmm. The Eerie on Sea Mysteries, we gave it a big, big, big 9 out of 10. So let's, for our listeners, go through the books again. First book was called? Uh, the first book is Malamander. The yeah. second is Gargantus. And the third is Shadowgast. And there's a new one coming and it's called Festergrim. Great stuff. Oh, and at the start of the books, mm-hmm. um, like in the Shadowgast edition I have, there's like these sites of Erion Sea and like oh, the covers. Brilliant. And on like that one, Shadowgast and the other two, yeah. there's like a map of the town, which is really useful. Ah, that's handy when you're reading it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, like that. Um, so sometimes like they were just somewhere that I didn't, mm-hmm. if I didn't know where they were, I just go, Flip back to the um, map 
and then I'd just be like, okay, so they're here, and they started here, so if they walk, so they probably good. walk there. So it's handy it. to keep an eye on it then. What yeah. did you think of the cover artwork, by the way? Oh, yeah, the cover art, the cover artwork was, like, really good. Good. Because it was, like, 3D, and mm-hmm. there's lots of, like, um, like, in Malamander, the edition that I have. Yeah. There were, like, loads of, like, backgrounds, like, faded. You Very can't good. really see them. They don't have, like, color colors, mm-hmm. but they have, like, fading away, Excellent. you know, that kind of thing. Right, well, 9 out of 10 for the overall series, the uh, Eerie on Sea Mysteries by Thomas Taylor. We will be back very soon with episode 34. Yeah. I don't know what we've got planned yet, but we will have something yeah. soon. Maybe we'll do a, uh, sorry, a bedtime read, something like that. Yeah, like another one, because okay. we did that on episode 30. Great we? stuff. Yeah. Yes, we did. Okay, guys, we'll see you real soon. You take care, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.